We're about to dyno test a 12 valve Cummins. Here we go. It's alive! Heck yeah, dude. 500. It's gonna make 500, I promise. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Woo! We would not Absolutely. give up. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm very impressed. So we got a call from Project Farm and he said, I've got this old truck. It's a 96 Dodge Cummins and it's totally stock. It's painfully slow and I like to test things. And I said, you've come to the right place. So he wanted to try to put a 550 horsepower fuel package on this truck and uh, upgrade the transmission, a few other things. And he wanted to test, is it worth it to put four or $5,000 in your old truck? Or are you better off buying a new truck? And I said, I think this is a great project. Let's get started. The first thing we did with Todd, not Power Driven's Todd, I'm talking Project Farm Todd, he's very fit. We put his truck on the dyno. We're about to dyno test a 12 valve Cummins. It's my 1996 Dodge Ram. Nothing's been done to this engine. We're gonna guess how much horsepower this engine produces on the dyno. I'm guessing 150 horsepower. What do you think, Will? 180 is the factory rating. My guess is 132. Meyer? I'm gonna do 134. All right, let's see who's the closest. Here we go. Now we guess numbers, I guess stock numbers, which are about 135 horsepower. Truck surprised us, it made 200, just a little over 200 to the tire. 205, so this is a factory freak, I would call that. So we had a good baseline, we had some good EGT numbers. Now it was time to get some work done. This truck was 11 years old. Someone had already done these brake lines because there's so much rust, but it was an older lady I bought it from. Her husband had already passed on. It was a fiasco because I had a problem getting the title after that because mm -hmm. his name is on the title and he's dead. Right. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh, why did I buy this truck? I, now I've got title issues. I can't drive the truck, but mm -hmm. I got it worked out. But I know he wouldn't have done anything to yeah. anything. It'll be a much better running truck when we're done. After the dyno baseline runs, Meyer and I got busy installing a bunch of performance upgrades. Aggressor 6064 Turbo. The stock turbo, 56 millimeter. This is the Aggressor. It has a 60 millimeter. It has a billet wheel. This is a cast wheel. So the stock HX35 has a 60 millimeter outlet, a 70 millimeter inlet, and it's 12 blade. This Aggressor 6064 has a 64 millimeter outlet, a 76 inlet, and it's 10 blade for higher Perfect. flow and more turbine power. Three-piece manifold. All right, pulling the gasket in, it actually bent the bolts. You can see on the actual manifold that the soot is starting to build up towards the edge. That's because it's actually pulling this manifold inward. Like I said, bent the bolt. The three-piece manifolds are like a common upgrade because, oh, they flow better. But mostly, like the where it all came from, is that these would crack. Yeah. And they, they snap bolts, heads, whatever. Okay. Put some power jet injectors in there. I'm on solar too. I tore into the injection pump, modified the AFC housing. We're gonna replace this foot. We're gonna change the spring inside here, making it so this can have more travel. The AFC's been modified, it has the new foot, it has a couple of replacement bolts where the tamper-proof screws were, okay. and we've installed this uh, 90 degree fitting to make it easy to install later. Installed AFC Live in the cab. Then I worked on the governor springs, put some 4K governor springs in the pump, and some 055 delivery valves. This one's narrow, flows more. This one's wider, flows less. Then Meyer went under the valve covers, installed the upgraded PDD head bolts. We're 11.83. All right, yeah. 60 pound valve springs, chromoly locks and retainers, push rods. Then we topped the whole setup off with a hot rod lift pump and 18 degrees of timing. This should be enough package for a, you know, 500-ish horsepower worth of air. Great towing manners. We we're trying to get maximum spool up. It's alive! Throttle response. We're really trying to do a good job for Todd on this truck. Wanted him to be impressed. I wanted him to say, very impressive. Very impressive. <laughs> I don't take free products. I, if I if I buy everything and I'm testing everything fairly, people are going to get as unbiased review as possible testing put the truck back on the dyno to see what the stock transmission would hold 
Now in the past, around 800 foot-pounds is when the stock torque converter starts to slip pretty heavily. I made 408, 408, 408, about. Yeah, it's kind of, so that right there is the converter slipping, but the, the converter, if it didn't have a lockup clutch, it still transmits power, right? Yep. So you're not going to go to zero. Yeah. So it's still pushing power, but you're just losing a bunch of the converter. I'll be, I'll be curious to see what it does with the trans, how yep. much more it actually do. Right around 800 foot-pounds, truck noses over, torque converter screams for life. Truck made a little bit over 400 horsepower, blowing right through that stock transmission. So, off the dyno, into the service bay. Reed and the guys knocked out the R&R. &R. Coming down. Heck yeah, dude. Great. Out with the old transmission, in with the new unit, back on the dyno. So engine upgrades have been done, the transmission's in place. Gentlemen, what's your guess on horsepower? Whew. With all the parts and everything, I'm gonna go like 485. Okay, Well, This is the 550 package, but we didn't maximize the timing, and we don't know quite how high the wastegate's set mm -hmm. on the turbo, just within the tolerance. My guess is 495. Right. And I think that if we see less than like 34 pounds of boost, we bump the boost up, then we're gonna get up to like low fives. 500, I'm confident these guys. <laughs> <laughs> what was okay. the goal? I don't even know what the goal was to start with. It was at least 500, 550. Oh, yeah. yep. oh it's gonna make 500, I promise you. <laughs> That's the goal, we're gonna make it make 500. 500's coming, baby. <laughs> The truck was making about 460 horsepower. So we were gaining 50, 60 horsepower from the transmission, but it wasn't getting to that 500 level that we really wanted to get to. <laughs> check the wastegate, check the timing. We checked the fuel shutoff solenoid because sometimes those don't lift up enough. That had been replaced at some point in its life. There wasn't any smoking gun. So Meyer got this bright idea. Let's throw a rack plug on this thing do um, Mac plug because that's going to make it worse. That's not that smoky. Okay. So if you really want to make 500 horse, that will do it. What is it? It's a Mac plug. So it's this little guy right here. It's a There's a rack and it's a throttle oh, stop. Gotcha. You take that out and you put a deeper a one deep in. Plug in there. It will require, well, you have to just grind the housing or whatever, or we have to pull the pump back. You just Man. grind it. Usually rack plug picks up 25 horsepower. So I was expecting about 475, maybe 480. That's what I'm talking about. 1260. Woo! It wasn't even that. That's amazing. Good. You have to admit, you came to Power Driven. Yes. Yeah. Did, did you get a little bit of that Power Driven charm right at the end? We would not <laughs> give up. Absolutely. Absolutely. 447. You guys like... did not quit. Yep, you guys did not quit. I really appreciate it. This is amazing. This kind of torque for a second gen is amazing. This type of horsepower is absolutely phenomenal and it's making hardly any smoke. I'm very impressed. Very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> After 520 horsepower in the dyno, there was one thing left to do. Big Todd took Farm Todd out in Farm Todd's truck to show Farm Todd how to use Big Todd's AFC Live. You follow me? Oh yeah. <laughs> and we're at 60. That's amazing. Oh, it's a totally different truck. Yeah, I love it. So they did a few runs. They had fun. They came back and then Big Todd told Farm Todd, he said, hey, now that you felt this power and you're impressed, he's like, now I'm gonna ruin you for life. Do you wanna go take a ride in my tow truck? Of course, they went for a ride and uh, Big Todd turned his tow truck in the thousand plus horsepower tune up and Farm Todd <laughs> had the ride of his life. Locked up, so it's just you know, covers locked up, but 
just roll on until it's burned tires. Thank you so much, Todd. I'm glad you got Thank to ride. You. Thank yeah. you so much. That was amazing. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. After riding in a 1200 horsepower truck, I still think Farm Todd is going to enjoy driving his old 12 Alcones. <laughs>